Hi, welcome to week eight of Name Them. Upon naming these children uh, that have not been born or never got a chance to be born, I can't help but think of the waste of resources of all the children that we've never had, of all the empty schools, empty lives, empty people. And I was also thinking to sustain a population, you had to have more than two kids to have a population that can sustain its elders and to continue to grow. But it seems like what we've done is we've made it so that we won't continue to grow and everything will fall into decay. That's just my observation. The other thing that people think is that abortion empowers women. It's a feminist concept. The problem is it doesn't empower women. It allows women to be more like men and to be uncaring about what they do with their bodies. When you allow yourself to get abortions, or have abortions and be like a man, you're basically becoming a slave to a man. As a woman, having a baby is one of the most greatest things you can do. And I know from a man's view, uh, standpoint, you're going to say, yeah, well, you're a man, right? You don't matter. But having that baby ripped from you, ripped from your body, killed, yeah, it makes you more and more like a man. And if you want to be like a man, you will be. And you will lose everything it means to be feminine. So don't believe the feminist hype. Don't kill your baby. Go to a pregnancy resource center or find a stork bus. Get help online or in your town. There's always a pregnancy resource center nearby. So anyway, Ian and I are going to name the names. And I just wanted to think about the tremendous waste of resources. And China is having a problem with girls. They've undervalued girls so much because boys carry the name that they don't have enough girls. So now they're trying to send Chinese kids here to go find wives. Don't take our women. Same thing with India. You know, you, you don't value girls, but it takes both. It takes a male and the female together, helping each other, working together to realize the potential that we can be as a human. And when they came up with the word man, they didn't just mean male. They didn't mean male. It was male and female, man, it's a word. The two together are what makes up humanity. If you undervalue one, you undervalue both. Anyway, just thought I'd leave you with that thought, that deep thought, and we're going to read the names for week eight. Again, we have last names, but we're not going to say them. Thank you. Trinity Angela, Macon James, Laney Christina, Joanna Lindsay, Martin Vander, Amy Judith, Elizabeth Catherine, Joel Daniel, Trevor Michael, Terry Robert. Duncan Orban Shimi Lisa Sally Anna Zenit Khadija Kailan Mia Tao Vicky Ashen Naomi Lin Shi Ting Mu Don Ku Li Rachel Don Teresa May Zayla Shruti Kanya Habi William Solomon Dale Bradley Barbara Tweaky Jewel Selena Timothy Jasper Shauna Kaylee Jerry Mason 
Debra Orani Tempest Raymond Jessica Wellwater Stanley Edmund Leia Elise Otto Victor Carlos Alejandro Sanjia Tiara Tyra Michelle Brooke Selma Andre Philippe Janine Ariana Rebecca Talia Karen Chani Colin Rowland Uthert Argus Luther Bernard Taggart Remy Prudy Darna and Sally Zanna Monique Tully Denton K Trina Katrina Derna Varkus Manuel Ward Kirk Jennifer Joyce Tari Amber Cayman Brandis Sophia De Marcia Alfred Paul Abigail Rhoda Booker James Holly Andrea Kurt Fallon Trey Devon George Corby Carissa Raven Rowan Stacy Winona Nana Sharon Margaret Dubby Barron Colin Christopher Rosa Lynn Timon Albert William Robert Gus Inego Leticia Shana Clint Arthur Kenneth Frederick Alicia Celine Camden Oxley Luke Benjamin Elijah Kay Anthony Bryan Brianna Sadie Leanne Carroll Scarlett Demi Sean Trenton Alexander Keith Aaron Lee Vance Holland Dana Shelby Mai Su Kalima Boko Star Ashley Penny Nina Adriana Melody Lucy Emily Renee Stella Bali Cora Kimberly Emma Tracy Beverly Louisa Sandra Allison Ursula Joshua John Earl Jonathan Robert Prince and that concludes our list of names.